Hello and welcome to this short introduction to IC3D middleware. IC3D middleware is a software designed to help you assess uh, your legacy and current production data in terms of um, finding out what custom properties are currently residing in your files um, and also to help you update that data in a bulk or mass uh, fashion um, using easy to um, understand and, uh, and work with um, standard formats such as CSV uh, for example. So let's take a look at how this works and I'm just going to demonstrate using a very simple assembly that you see up on the screen here. Uh, this uh, universal joint, if we go on to the properties, you can see that there are no custom properties in this file uh, at the moment. And uh, the same thing if I want to verify that with one of the parts, for example, I can open this one up again, no properties in there. Now, if I wanted to verify that for every part, I have to um, open up every part and, and, and go properties, which is a long and laborious process there. So I'd like to show you how IC3D middleware can, uh, can make the process much easier. So I'm just going to close down this assembly and go over to what's known as the Workflows Manager for IC3D Steel. I'm just going to make that window a little bit smaller. So very intuitive and very easy to use there. I'm just going to create a new workflow. We have industry standard um, drivers there for SolidWorks. Um, if you want to output into XML, CSV files, or even to SAP um, ERP software as well. So I'm just going to drag and drop a SolidWorks driver and a CSV. So I'm going to read from SolidWorks um, documents and put the output into a CSV file. Uh, I'll just specify the path to my SolidWorks files. So I'll just navigate to that. And then in my CSV file, I'm just going to specify where I want the CSV file to be output. Same folder as my assembly. I'm just going to call it, just call it uh, custom properties csv okay so let's take a look at how this is going to work i simply just need to go and test the workflow so it comes up with a status there uh, operation to read and it comes up saying no custom properties well we know that uh, because we verified that there were no custom properties in there and in fact if we look at this uh, folder where it is now you can see that there's a custom properties.csv file if we go ahead and open that up well what you can see is that it's given us each file in there and there are no custom properties that's where they would be put at the moment so let's do that let's write back into these files so i'm going to start creating a property here we'll call it description and i'll just enter some standard descriptions as a example here so we'll have a bracket hopefully i can spell that uh, correctly uh, crank subassembly um, so on and so forth, you know, just very simple, spider, uh, universal, joint, and then just like female, oops, and yeah, male. Okay, uh, what about another property, maybe we want to specify a material, maybe you want to specify a uh, vendor there, for example, so I'll just specify again, just very simple, you know, ABC company, uh, Intercad, uh, SolidWorks, just some simple um, properties that we want to assign, I'll just repeat those throughout here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just save this, click yes, and then close it down, and now we go back to IC3D middleware for the right operation. So I'll create another workflow. This time I'm reading from CSV and writing to SolidWorks. So my CSV file is my custom properties. And in my SolidWorks again I just need to specify the path there. And that's all we need to do. So again, test workflow. We have a read and write operation that's completed there. So now that the read and write operation has been completed, let's take a look at what this actually means. So I'll click OK to that. If we just open up one of the files that we had, this assembly, for example, 
just drag and drop that into SolidWorks. And if we take a look at the properties now, you can see that those properties have been written in, which I entered, and the vendor, which I entered there as well. Same thing if we were to take a look at the park there, open that up and you can see the properties have been written in. So you can see the advantage, obviously this is a very simple example, um, but you can see the advantages of doing this with multiple files, having a nice summary, you can do it in stages, folder by folder or project by project, as uh, however you wish to. Where this becomes really handy is if you're going to be using uh, files with a data management system such as SolidWorks Enterprise PDM. Uh, what I have now is I'm just going to uh, copy this uh, entire folder there. I'll just go into one of my <laughs> uh, many vaults. Uh, maybe this one here, for example. Oops. And if I just uh, add those files in, what we can see is if we go down to uh, any of the files, it doesn't matter really which particular one. Uh, let's take our assembly file and if we take a look at the uh, data card there, sorry, wrong one. If we take a look at the data card, uh, for example, you can see that the description has come through and if I had a space on the data card for a, uh, a vendor, it would come through in there as well. So all of this is uh, possible with IC3D middleware. It gives you the advantage of being able to uh, assess what uh, custom properties your SOLIDWORKS files currently hold and uh, um, update and write to them whatever custom properties you need to in a bulk and most efficient fashion. So thank you for your time.